For some, it is one of the largest art movements to ever exist, and for others, it is unwanted and vandalism. This form of art is graffiti. Graffiti has been around for over 50 years, and the first museum ever to showcase its history is now opened and located in the vibrant and Instagrammable Winwood neighborhood. Co-founder and artist Alan Kett partnered up with attorney Allison Frieden, who has represented many street artists. When we paint in public, many times that work is erased, it's painted over, it's destroyed, it's temporary, it's ephemeral. And so where do you talk about that work that's been erased? When you come here, there's no place to learn about it. The museum is an example of how this once illegal art movement has become mainstream. And the goal of Kets and Frieden is to educate everyone about this art movement. The neighborhood of Wynwood has played a huge role in the evolution and acceptance of graffiti as it has served as outdoor canvases for street artists and for tourists to admire and appreciate the art. It's really cool from what I've seen so far. It's like a big culture kind of movement and helping everything kind of get moved to a point of acceptance. The museum spotlights the different types of graffiti artists all over the world and local graffiti artists. The gift shop in the museum serves as a platform for local Miami artists to showcase their work. The museum also has 13 exterior murals, many done by local artists. Throughout the years, graffiti has made its way into the Wynwood walls and now has a permanent home for its history here in the Museum of Graffiti. Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, I'm Chelsea Perez.